Lee, yeah. welcome to Millwall. Uh, you've already had a chance to address the players. Um, in a nutshell, what have you told them? First off, I want them to enjoy coming to work. That's more important than anything. And um, obviously, when you're when you're getting beat, it's it's, it's not fun. But um, I want to enjoy my life, um, and that's what I've told them because that's the main thing I am as a coach. I think it's all about enthusiasm um, and enjoyment and encouragement. So they've just had a huge slice of that because they looked a bit down after last weekend. But let's um, let's see what we can do. I'm delighted. Absolutely delighted to be here and honoured to be here. You've been successful at a number of other clubs. Why why Millwall and why now? Basically I was out of work. Um, I got a phone call from a fantastic friend of mine in Kenny Jacket and he recommended that I speak to um, Andy Ambler and, uh, and, and John Berylson. So um, I asked him why and he told me what type of people they are. Um, and he thought I'd get on fantastic with him. So I did that, I met Andy on th um, Thursday and then I met John on Friday and I was completely and utterly blown away for lots of reasons by um, how much I, I felt they um, felt for the club and, and where they believed it could go and, and what they wanted for it. It was completely mirrored what, how I feel about the next job that I take. And, um, and I've never felt so wanted in my whole life, I have to say. So, um, blew me away, sold it to me straight away. And obviously, I, I know about the passion of the fans. You don't have to argue with that. And I've had some great times stood in that opposition dugout with a little bit of banter and um, over the years. But you know, I'm can't tell how honoured I am to be part of Millwall Football Club. What can the fans expect then from me and Holloway's Millwall? Well, hopefully we can stop losing. That's the first thing we got to do because, um, you know, we are in the mire a little bit, you know, down that wrong end of the table. But, you know, Kenny did fantastically well to get, get the lads up and, um, you know, we've had some changes and they don't always work. And now I want to try and make them enjoy their football, really, and try and get some results un un under, the, under their belts because it's pretty tough division, you know. But... You know, I look around that dressing room and, you know, there's some fantastic talent. I've got to try and galvanise him into a, 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 a way of playing, uh, a Millwall type hard work type effort type scenario because, you know, looks in the last couple of weeks that's sort of died away a little bit. But basically it's a new group with lots of changes and I've got to try and galvanise them into what I want to do and hopefully a fresh voice in someone like me might, might help them a little bit. You know some of them quite well because you've worked with them before. You probably know most of the rest of them, having played against them at times. Mm. Are you coming in basically saying there's a clean sheet? It's those that, that show me that they want to do what I want them to do. They're the ones that will that will get the places in the team. Yeah, first thing I got to do, you know, I'm blind right now. I haven't seen Millwall play this season. You know, I had a very tough game against them for. Crystal Palace at the end of last season, I thought they played really well and you know we, we managed to get a draw out of that game so uh, I've got a, literally a boatload of DVDs that I'm going to take with me now. Um, I'm going to leave things um, with the staff that took it last week and I'll be coming in tomorrow and Thursday and Friday and that's all we got till our next game which is Huddersfield away so you know but I want to put my mark on it and I want them to enjoy what they do and the first thing for me is I. I've been very fortunate to have a great life and, I, and I'm, hopefully I'll have a lot, a lot of years to go, but I want to try and enjoy my football. So um, I want them to get a piece of that, really. Um, and what I will say to them is I don't care whether we win, lose or draw, as long as we're trying to do it in the right way. And for me, that's hard work. And the first thing I'll ask them for is hard work and never give up. So I think I'll get that out of them this weekend and you know, let's see, see what happens from there on in. I'll, I'll have a little... When you come into a new job, you have to have a look, pick up a few stones, see what's there and, and try and take it on from there. And last year I had a, a club that was winning. This year I got a club that's losing and it's a fantastic challenge for me. But, you know, um, if I could have four or five weeks and no games, it'd be brilliant. But unfortunately, we've got to do all of that in it. So, you know, I'm fully aware of the challenge. But whatever happens, I want to be here for a long time. And um, I've guaranteed John and, and Andy that that's definitely two and a half years, whatever happens. So, 
Um, sometimes it takes a while to turn things around, but I'll be here and I'll be working at it. And um, I think we can do it a lot quicker than that, to be honest.